How's it going Digimon fans? I'm Digidex and today I will be talking about one of the most popular groups in Digimon, the 7 Great Demon Lords. In this video I will be telling you guys who the 7 Great Demon Lords are, what they represent, how strong each of them are individually and also I will be showing you guys their evolution line. Now let's begin. The 7 Great Demon Lords are a group of evil and powerful Demon Lord Digimon who each represent one of the 7 deadly sins. They are all based on various demons from within Christian mythology. Each of the seven great demon lords possess a unique crest displayed in one of the seven colors of the visible spectrum. Lilithmon's crest color is green and her sin is lost. Biazamon's crest color is yellow and his sin is gluttony. Barbamon's crest color is purple and his sin is greed. Belfamon Rage Mode's crest color is indigo and his sin is sloth. Daemon's crest color is orange and his sin is wrath. Leviamon's crest color is blue and his sin is envy. And Lucimon's crest color is red and his sin is pride. The seven great demon lords are listed in order of the ascending purgatory levels. This order is a reference to the levels of purgatory. Each level represents a different one of the seven deadly sins and presents a way to atone for each sin. The lower the level, the easier it is to atone for the sin and to go to paradise. The seven great demon lords purgatory levels are the following. Level 7, Lust. Level 6, Gluttony. Level 5, Greed. Level 4, Sloth. Level 3 Wrath, Level 2 Envy and Level 1 Pride. This list shows us that Lust is the easiest sin you can atone for while Pride is the hardest sin to atone. Also did you guys know that the 7 great demon lords are the chief nobility of the dark area and each member has the right to command legions of nightmare soldiers if they so wished. Only a few Digimon can match their power such as Grand Drachmon and Malomyotismon. This group almost destroyed the entire digital world but they were stopped and were sealed away, left to be forgotten. But they always find a way to return. Now let's talk about the Digimon of this group. Lilithmon represents the moon and the sin of lust. It is thought that she was originally an Ophanimon, but she fell into the dark ocean and became the goddess of darkness Lilithmon. She confounds her enemies with her bewitchingly lovely appearance and it is said that those who are taken in by her temptation always die. Now this is a powerful ability, I mean just look at her, just look at her. It would be very hard not to get tempted by her beauty. Her special attacks are Phantom Pain, which is a move that rots opponents bodies with a sigh of darkness, causing their data to disappear from the tips of their bodies. And the Digimon suffer pain even in death. And Nezar Nail, anything she touches with the nail gets disintegrated. Those are powerful moves fitting for the goddess of darkness. Now for her evolution line. There are two ways a Digimon can become a Lilithmon. One way an Ophanimon can become her and another way is her true evolution line which consists of her rookie Salamon, her champion Black Gatamon, her ultimate Lady Devimon and her mega Lilithmon. Leviamon. Leviamon's name and design are derived from the mythological Leviathan. It represents Mercury and the sin of envy. It is said that it is the strongest monster existing in the digital world and it is called the Devil Beast out of terror of its exceedingly mighty power that it possesses. This ginormous monster is said to possess gigantic jaws which are rumored that they can even eat down the digital world. It is reported to sleep in the depths of the net ocean nearest to the dark area. It is said that this Digimon built the foundation for the existence of wickedness in the digital world. Its special attacks are Biting Crush where it destroys everything with its gigantic jaws and Tail Strike where it mows down everything with its long tails. Also its evolution line is the rookie Sayakomon, the champion Gesomon, the ultimate Marine Devimon and the mega Leviamon. Let's talk about Barbamon. Barbamon's name and design are derived from the mythological Barbatos. With the appearance of a long bearded old man, he represents Saturn and is the sin of greed. It's said that this Digimon resides within the heart of the dark area, the den of demons. He is obsessed with all the treasure which exists within the digital world and it's said that this Digimon has a cruel personality and a greed that would kill any Digimon just for a piece of treasure. 
He is the most cunning and manipulative of all the seven great demon lords. He is easily able to control fallen angel Digimon and the mega level Digimon Goma, who is said to be a god of destruction. Also, this Digimon was able to successfully fuse with one of King Drezor's host computers, which is strong as 9000 Digimon. His main attacks are Pandemonium Lost. It unleashes all the Dark Area's evil energies at once, as an extremely high temperature explosion that burns up everything without a trace. To show you how strong this move is, even Malomayotima Screaming Darkness releases only a fraction of the energy that comes out of Pandemonium Lost. And Malomayotima Screaming Darkness was so powerful that he was able to hurt and overwhelm Impaildramon Fighter Mode, Sylphimon and other types of Digimon. And that was just a fraction of Barbamon's Pandemonium Lost power. With this you can understand how powerful Barbamon really is. His other attacks are Death Lure where he uses his demonic staff to tempt Digimon into an inescapable living hell, converting them to wickedness, and Dark Inferno, where he burns the enemy with a dark flame and reduces them to ash. His evolution line is the rookie Demi Debimon, the champion Debimon, the ultimate Skull Satanmon, and the mega Barbamon. Let's talk about the laziest Digimon in the Seven Great Demon Lords, Belfamon. Belfamon's sleep mode is said to be sealed in the deepest part of the dark area, as the strength it possesses is just too immense. Its data is said to be put in a sleep state by the digital world systems. It is said that when Belfamon transforms into his rage mode, he goes on a destructive rampage and once he is finished he reverts back into his sleep mode to rest. Because he has fallen into a deep sleep, it cannot unleash its own attacks. But that does not make him weak as he is still able to inflict massive damage to Digimon with just his snores. Its attacks are Eternal Nightmare, where he invokes a nightmare with its peaceful snoring, and Lampharanthus, where he casts black flames from the chains coiled around its body. He may look adorable and weak, but don't judge a book by its cover. Inside this Digimon there is a beast waiting to be unleashed, and to cause havoc and destruction everywhere. Speaking of, let's talk about his Rage Mode, Belfamon Rage Mode. Belfamon Rage Mode's name and design are derived from the mythological Belphegor. It represents Mars and the sin of sloth. It is said that Belfamon's Sleep Mode awakens from its eternal slumber once in a thousand years. When he awakens, he regains his natural shape and changes into Rage Mode, and anything that enters its field of vision becomes a target. It is so strong that it is said that just by suffering Belfamon Rage Mode's roar, ultimate level Digimon and below will have their data disintegrated and will instantly die and not even mega level Digimon can escape unharmed. Also he was easily able to beat Mirage Galgamon, Rosemon, Ravemon and Shine Greymon all at the same time. This just shows how strong this beast of a Digimon really is. His special attacks are Lampharanthus where he casts black flames from the chains around its body and Gift of Darkness where he unleashes a slash attack from its claws which are clad in the flames of hell. His evolution line is the rookie Fascomon, the champion Porcupamon, the ultimate Astamon, the mega Belfamon sleep mode, and its side mega Belfamon rage mode. Now let's talk about one of my favorite demon lords, Beelzebub. Beelzebub represents Venus and is the sin of gluttony. It is said that he is so powerful that he could stand at the peak of the dark army of nightmare soldiers if he cared to. To show you how strong that is, Mercusmon and Trubmon Evil are both powerful nightmare soldiers and are able to match powerful megas such as Emperor Greymon and Beelzebub is stronger than them. This just shows how much strength Beelzebub has. Beelzebub rides on the motorcycle called Behemoth. This motorcycle can move so fast not even Gallopmon, who is a royal knight, was able to keep a track of its movements. He also has his cherished shotguns with him at all times. This Digimon so powerful, he is able to match Gallopmon with one of the royal knights. This just shows how much strength the demon lords have. His special attacks are double impact, where he rapid fires bullets from his shotgun. The bullets are so powerful that they can destroy Digimon just by going past them. They don't even need to get touched by the bullets. And Darkness Claw where he raises a claw overhead and then cuts the opponent to pieces with darkness. Also, Beelzebub is one of the few demon lord Digimon that are able to digivolve to a further stage. This form is Beelzebub Blastmon. This form raises Beelzebub's power to the utmost limit. It commonly demonstrates incomparable power and speed. The four jet black wings are going from its back so he's able to fly as well in this form. 
They said as soon as Biasman takes on this form, the opponents will no longer exist, as this form is just too powerful. Its right arm is integrated with its blaster and it fires powerful energy waves to disintegrate everything into atoms. Its special attacks are Corona Blaster where he fires a destructive wave from the blaster and his ultimate move Corona Destroyer where he draws a magic circle before itself and then fires destructive wave towards the center, leaving no traces of the enemy left. The rookie level Digimon is Impamon. The champion level Digimon is Wizardmon. Its ultimate level Digimon is Balmon. Its mega level Digimon is Biausamon. Its level above mega is Biausamon Blastmon. Now let's talk about the angriest of the demon lords, Daemon. Daemon's name is derived from the mythological Kako demon. He represents Jupiter and is the sin of wrath. This Digimon was formerly a Seraphimon before falling into the dark ocean. Similar as to how Lilithmon was once an Ophanimon. He leads the many devil and fallen angel Digimon and he has vowed to one day conquer the digital world. He is so powerful that he was easily able to beat Empire Ujimon Fighter Mode, Sylphimon and Shokomon while not even using his full strength. In fact the only way they beat him is because he allowed it. His special attacks are Evil Inferno where he attacks with extremely high temperature hellfire that burns up the opponents without a trace left of them. And Evil Flapping where he attacks with the large tower of flames. If that is not scary enough, he can change into his more powerful beast mode. In this mode, all his strength and speed again increase, and his one hand is more bigger than the other. His special attack is Slash Nail, where he tears the enemy with his giant claw, and Double Dust, where he attacks with his fist filled with magic. Demon has another form that is even more stronger than his beast form, but to talk about that form, I need to talk about a special Digimon called Aruk Demon. Aruk Demon is a bewitchingly beast Digimon created by Daemon to help him take over the digital world. He is a very unique Digimon as he was officially created by from various datas of Digimon. He is so powerful that in his baby form he was easily able to destroy Piedmon, a powerful mega level Digimon. No other Digimon in their baby form have ever beaten mega level Digimon. So this just shows that this Digimon is really special and really powerful. Also this Digimon digivolves by absorbing the data from other Digimon. He digivolves from baby level to rookie level by absorbing Piedmon. Then he absorbs the data of Ice Leomon to digivolve into champion level. He then becomes an ultimate by absorbing Seraphimon. Then finally he absorbs Daemon to digivolve to his mega level. In his mega level he is so powerful that he is easily able to be Omnimon, Rosemon and Domnimon all at once. This Digimon can digivolve further to the super ultimate level by using the Digimentor. In this form it is said that he is so powerful he could easily destroy the whole digital world. He could kill entire armies with just one attack. His special attacks are God Matrix where he shoots an invisible beam of energy from its eyes. It is so powerful, everything hit by this attack will be reduced to nothing but zeros and ones of primitive data. So this move is instant kill move to Digimon. And he has a wide range and is invisible. So good luck trying to dodge this move. And Dystopia Lance where he uses the huge number of tentacles in his body to charge and pierce its targets. This Digimon is one of the strongest Digimon to ever exist in the whole digital world. However, let's talk about before. When he absorbed Daemon, it was planned out by Daemon to get absorbed by Arukadimon, as Daemon was still alive within Arukadimon. And since Arukadimon has no sense of self, Daemon was easily able to take over Arukadimon's body from the inside. He destroyed Arukadimon from the inside and then took all his power for himself, allowing him to digivolve to the super ultimate level. In this form, he has all of Arukadimon's power and he can use the dark virus to destroy his opponents. He is so powerful. He might be the strongest Demon Lord Digimon, maybe even on par with Lucemon Satan mode. His special attacks are Algog's Flame, where he spews a gigantic orb of flame from its mouth, and Dark Spreader, where he uses the Dark Virus to damage his opponents. Now let's talk about his evolution life. Just as Lilithmon, there are two ways a Digimon can become a Daemon. First way is from being a side mega to Seraphimon, and the next is his evolution line, which is the rookie Sukemon, the champion Devimon, the ultimate Neo Devimon and the Mega Daemon. His side Mega Daemon Beast form and his super ultimate form Daemon Super Ultimate. Now let's talk about the leader of the group Lucemon. But before we talk about the Demon Lord Lucemon, let's talk about his rookie level. 
Lucemon has the appearance of a child. It is said that this Digimon stopped the great war between humanoid and beast type Digimon and because of this it is said that this Digimon brought about order and harmony into the digital world. Even as a rookie level, this Digimon has the power and intelligence of an ultimate level Digimon. However, because of his power, he became mad with power and thus was sealed away by the 10 legendary warriors. It is said that when he was sealed away, Lucemon's abilities were inherited and split among the three great angels. Lucemon is so manipulative, he was easily able to corrupt Cherubimon good by making him think that Ophanimon and Seraphimon were plotting against him as well as the beast type Digimon and because of this, this made Cherubimon become Cherubimon evil. This just shows how manipulative this Lucemon can be. His special attacks are Grand Cross, where he fires 10 superheated spears of light. This technique is more powerful than Seraphimon's strike of the seven stars. So this just shows just how strong Lucemon is even in his rookie form. Now let's talk about his demon lord form. Lucemon fall down mode represents the sun and is the sin of pride. He is the leader, founder and the strongest of the group. In this form he possesses the power of light and darkness. He is so powerful, his power exceeds that of Omega and is said to rival that of, of King Drazel's power. He is easily able to beat powerful Digimon such as Emperor Greymon and Magna Gurumon who are stronger than average Megas. His ultimate attack is Ultimate Sacrifice where he uses an orb of light to hold the target in place and mixes it with the orb of darkness to trap the target in two rotating spheres. They explode moments later. This move has a 50-50 chance of either killing whoever is trapped inside or badly wounding them. So there's no way out of this move. Also it is said that when all the pure data leaves his body, he will transform into his Satan mode. If you had thought Lucemon fall down mode was powerful, well Lucemon Satan mode is above him. He has the appearance of the Dragon of Revelation and it is said that he is the only ever super demon lord besides Ogudamon. This is Lucemon's final form and the avatar of evil. It possesses the crown of the seven deadly sins upon its head and he holds the orb of darkness Gehenna which absorbs all attacks. All attacks are nullified before Gehenna and he said that the world will perish when Lucemon takes this form. However, this form is no more than Lucemon's shadow as its true form is Lucemon larva where it resides within Gehenna. Lucemon larva is the form that truly controls Satan mode. Therefore, no matter how many times Satan mode is attacked, those attacks will not even reach his true form Lucemon Larva. The Larva form is as strong as a Mega level and he can act as an individual entity but without Larva form, Lucemon Satan mode will lose control and destroy everything in its way. Its ultimate attacks are Nihilzim Maelstrom where he fires the light of annihilation and Tide of Despair where he exhales a flame of destruction which destroys everything. His evolution line is the rookie Lucemon, the ultimate Lucemon Chaos mode and the Mega, Lucemon Satan mode. Now let's talk about Agudamon. Now if you remember earlier I said that there was another super demon lord Digimon and this is Agudamon. Agudamon is a grotesque super demon lord Digimon that is said to be the first beast of revelation. He has seven legs each with an eye beneath it and a sword pierced through the knee which bears one of the seals of the seven deadly sins as well as an eighth eye on its face. This Digimon is the most evil from the seven demon lords as he is the physical manifestation of all the sins in the digital world and he has the ability to atone for them. He is so powerful that any Digimon with a hint of malice cannot hurt him so it will be impossible to beat this Digimon and for him to get defeated by evil Digimon. Agudamon is created by combining two of the seven great demon lords. If you want Agudamon to be at his full strength then it will be best to combine Lucemon Satan mode and Demon Super Ultimate. With those two combined Agudamon will be so powerful that no one will be able to stop him. His ultimate attack is Cathedral where he attacks with a shockwave coming out from its mouth turning everything to dust. This Digimon is the strongest from all the Demon Lords and you would not want to mess with any of them. And that is everything you guys need to know about the 7 Great Demon Lords. Hopefully I was able to give you guys an understanding of who they are, how powerful they are and what their evolution line is. If you guys like this video please subscribe and give it a thumbs up, it greatly helps. If this video does well I might do similar videos like this, I already have plans for the next video. Also write down in the comment section below who your favourite demon lord Digimon is. Mine are Biausamon and Lusamon. Well then, I'll see you guys later.